And I thought I'd make a lot more sense to relieve student debt for families and, and it would grow our economy. Well, there we were existing programs in the law to fix and adjust the programs. Uh, we, had to, we had to change them to make people uh, actually uh, make them available for you, make people eligible. People think that the president of the United States has the power for debt forgiveness. He does not. He can postpone. He can delay. But he does not have that power. That would that has to be an act of Congress. And um, uh, I, I, I don't even like to call it forgiveness because that in, implies a transgression. It's not to be forgiven. Get you know, just freeing people from those obligations. The president can't do it. So that's not even a discussion. That not everybody realizes that. But the president can only postpone, delay, but not forgive. Mr. President, do you worry this will get shoved back in court? I don't have a worry at all. Mr. President, <laughs> can you you the you the Mr. President, can there be a hostage deal of this real great drop off? When I was vice president, all I heard about was Chicago, you know. Uh, but I'm making, trying to make sure they hear about Delaware, but it ain't working yet. My dad used to say, Joey, a, 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 a paycheck is about more than a, a job is about more than a paycheck. It's about your dignity. Look, folks, and it's also helping you uh, who don't go to college. It's not just, you know, people say to me sometimes, well, Joe, that's great. You're helping people get into college. But how about all those hardworking people you grew up with in the neighborhood? How about all those folks in labor unions? How about all those hardworking people work with their hands? Why should they have? Well, just today, my labor department announced 200, this is not the student loan program, but $200 million in grants for registered, registered apprenticeship programs around the country while you can learn a skilled trade and lead to good paying jobs. And the economy is growing. It's growing. Jobs, income across the board. We have the most advanced economy of any major nation in the world. It is also, of course, my distinct honor to introduce the 46th president of the United States, Joe Biden, who has been a champion for working families and continues to lead with strength, reestablishing our country's position in the world. Mr. President, I need a strong to win re-election. He's going to win re-election anyway. 